Good afternoon, Lily. I'm glad you could make it in today. I'm glad I came in. How's your week been so far? Um, I'm still a little bit anxious. Yes, last week when you were in, you were telling me that you were experiencing great anxiety, and we had developed a plan, a plan for your anxiety. And according to my notes, Um, you were going to look into some yoga classes, you were going to attempt to drink less coffee, you were going to get out more with people because you were kind of um, isolating yourself in the home, and you were going to spend more time in nature. So I'm wondering how all that went. Um, well, I, I looked at the gym and there weren't really any yoga classes, so I didn't, I didn't really do that. Um, I did cut back on my coffee a little bit, but um, I just find that it wakes me up in the morning. So, you know, I've, I've cut back to one cup instead of two cups. And I did take the dog for a walk, but I haven't really gotten out other than that. Okay. So it sounds like you've made some movement forward towards your goals. You did at least look into yoga, even though you, the gym didn't have yoga classes. You did cut down from two cups of coffee to one, and you did get out with your dog in nature for a walk, but it sounds like you had a little bit of an issue getting out more with people. Yeah, I don't, you, I don't really like to go out with people. There's usually a lot, of, a lot of chatter and a lot of talking, and it's hard for me to be in that. So it's uncomfortable for you to be out around people with all the speaking and chatting and talking. And how does that make you feel? Um, it just makes me feel a little bit nervous. And then um, when I get out there, I don't really, I don't really engage in conversation. Okay. So actually, getting out with people actually makes you even more anxious. So I'm wondering what we could do about that. Um, I'm not really sure. Maybe I could invite people over instead. Mm -hmm. That would absolutely be one option. You could invite people over to your house and then you could get to choose who you're around. Yeah, that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. And in terms of the, the yoga, let's get back to the yoga for a minute. Tell me more about where you looked for yoga classes. Well, I just looked at my gym. I didn't really look anywhere else because um, I'm already paying to go to a gym and I don't really want to pay extra to go somewhere else. So that's why I didn't really look anywhere else. Mm -hmm. And so if I were to ask you right now, how motivated are you to find a yoga class on a scale of one to 10? Um, maybe about a five or six. Okay. And so what made you say five or six rather than two or three? Um, well, I, I see all these um, pictures in my news feed about yoga and I see all these pictures and I just want to do it. So I'm interested in doing it. It's just really hard. Mm -hmm. So you, when you see the pictures on your news feed, it makes you excited about doing it. But when you actually go to do it, it makes it a little yeah. bit more challenging. Well, and it's a, I haven't done it before, so it's a little bit hard to get out there because I don't think I'm as flexible as the other people. Mm -hmm. And so you're thinking that you're not as flexible as the other people. Um, I'm wondering if that's what yoga is about, flexibility. Well, I think, I think that people go to become flexible, but I think that maybe some people are already just flexible. Mm -hmm. So you are concerned that maybe you might not be as flexible as the rest. Yeah. And you'd be a beginner. Well, I'm worried I, I wouldn't be able to do the poses in class. Okay. And so what do you think would happen if you couldn't do the poses in class? Well, I, I'd feel embarrassed, I think. And then if the teacher tried to get me to do it and everybody else would see that they, they're trying to get me into a pose, then I, I think it would be embarrassing. Okay, so you'd be embarrassed if you couldn't do the certain poses. Mm -hmm. And how would you feel if you could do all the poses in the class? Well, I think I'd feel really good. And so what do you think 
it is preventing you from not doing all the poses in the class. Well, I, I guess it's just the embarrassment of, of maybe not being able to do it. What would, what would cause you to not be able to do it with the I'm poses? Not, I'm, not, I'm not sure. Okay. Um, I remember when you first came in last week, you told me that um, when you were younger, you used to be very, very flexible. Mm -hmm. And I'm wondering what would make that difference between then and now? Well, when I was a kid, um, I used to just practice and stretch a lot, and now that I don't, I don't have the same flexibility. Mm -hmm. So as I've gotten older, I've lost um, uh, a lot of flexibility. And how would it be if you couldn't do all the poses in the class, and you did get embarrassed, and you just let it be, embarrassed? I mean, it would be okay, but I don't, I don't like that feeling. What would be the payoff, do you think, if you put up with a little bit of embarrassment? Well, I'd probably feel really good in the end. Mm -hmm. You know, I can give you, I have lots of studies that I can give you and um, videos that I can show you of people that started yoga and started practicing yoga and their anxiety went way down. As a matter of fact, some studies show that anxiety doing yoga can be decreased the same as medications. So I'm not sure if you were, if you knew that or not. Um, I didn't really know that. I, I just thought that, that yoga was more about flexibility. I didn't realize there were so many other benefits. Okay. So how motivated would that make you feel on a scale of 1 to 10? Well, I probably... If I thought that I'd be, it would make me less anxious, I think I'd probably be around an 8 or 9. Good. Good. That's a definite improvement. And, and you could determine after that first class whether your anxiety levels had decreased or not. And that, would that be validation for you? Or would that be, give you even more motivation? if your anxiety levels were decreased instantly after the yoga class? I think that would be a lot of motivation okay. to continue. Okay. So one other thing that I wanted to, to mention to you um, was you said that you'd walk your dog in nature. And I'm curious as to how much time did you spend walking your dog in nature? Well, it was only about 30 minutes. Um, it was really cold and windy, so we didn't want to stay out. And by we, I mean the dog and I. Mm -hmm. And so, because of it, it was cold and windy, you decided to kind of cut the, the walk short. Yeah. And, and that's definitely understandable. I'm wondering what you could do to possibly get an hour of walking the dog in a day. Well, it might help if I take a jacket next time. Okay, so if you took a jacket in case it's cold. Yeah. And do you have a special place in nature that makes you feel peaceful that you could be in that would help you even more well, enjoy it? As long as I'm just away from road noise and traffic, then, then it's a lot better. Okay. And there's lots of trails around my house like that. Okay, excellent. It's great that you have trails around your house where you're not exposed to all that noise. And so, do you think you could commit to an hour? Probably. And on a scale of 1 to 10, tell me what that probably <laughs> means. Um, it's probably a 10. I can, I can commit to that. Okay, alright. So, it sounds like last week you had a, a few problems carrying out the assignments towards decreasing your anxiety. You really couldn't find a yoga class because you're already signed up for a gym that doesn't have the yoga classes, but you, you already know about the yoga videos that I've sent you, so you could actually do them at home. Yeah. How strongly do you feel about doing them at home? Um, if I could do them at home, I would probably do them all the time. Mm -hmm.
I think that would be a big difference. And then there would be no embarrassment factor mm -hmm. if you couldn't do the, the poses. Less coffee, you've gone from two cups to one cup. That's very good. And get out more with people. You've decided to invite people over to your house rather than going out with other people not knowing who's going to be in your space. Mm -hmm. That's always um, a, a, an apprehensive moment when you don't know, you have no control over who's going to be in your space. And on a scale of 1 to 10, you think that you could spend at least an hour a day walking with the dog. Yeah. Good job. I think we have a plan. So overall, on all four of these items, how motivated do you feel on a scale of 1 to 10? I think it's a 10. I think I can do them. On all four? On all four. Fabulous. And how do you think you will feel? If you were to envision how you would feel incorporating all of these items in your life next week, over the course of next week, how much of a difference do you think it would make you feel? I think it would maybe even make me look forward to doing these things if I were doing them on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. And how would it make you feel? I think it would make me feel really good. And so you'd feel relaxed and you would feel more positive and I think you would too. Very good. Thank you. We'll check in next week. We'll make an appointment for next week and uh, catch up and see how you're doing with all this. Good okay. job. Thank you so much.